Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Baldi. He is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Peter! You must do it! Now! Damn it, Trax! I'm not doing it! I am Groot! Oh no. Groot! What, what happened? I was going to fight that beast to the death, but Quill would not let me. I have been denied the sanctification of sacrifice, and I demand mediation. It's all Pete's fault! Look at Groot! Thank you for freeing me, and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. I must go. I thought we were friends, Rocky. Me too, Pete. Me too. Next up, is your Kodak's device one drink, and then we find out. Suggests... <sighs> oh, hold on. Where to even we start? We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. That was easier than expected. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders without even touching them. I will hunt you down to the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you anywhere. Death is coming, Peter Quill. I really wish we had a team right about now. Hala, that weapon. I don't think there was a worse time for everyone to call it quits. What do you want me to say, Gamora? They're gone. There is no team anymore. Sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It just feels like whatever impossible task we accomplish, there's a new disaster we have to take care of. We escaped that death trap of a planet, but then everyone left. And now this? A super weapon? When will it end? Ah, oh, we can't catch a break. After all this is over, <laughs> I could really go for a vacation. <laughs> you and me both. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Guardians back together! Mantis! Groot? What are you doing here? Don't worry. I'm way ahead of you on that one. I am Groot! Oh no. This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the Forge still existed. They must be inside of Hala. It appears where the Forge granted life, Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. We're doomed. Just when I thought we were out of the woods. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I don't get it. Didn't we destroy the forge? How is it inside her? It blew up in her face, didn't it? That's where it is. In her face. 
The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill to keep herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people... The Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. We took down Thanos. We can totally handle Hala, right guys? <laughs> guys? I am Groot. But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It's not too late for us to change. Come on, guys, help me out here. I know it seems hopeless right now, Mantis. But the Guardians aren't what you think. I... am Groot. Hey, what is it, Groot? Me, man, I'm innocent. You've got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes! And caught red-handed. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh, oh boy. Hey! I did not know this was an animal prison, too. I am Groot. And I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you Limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated! You had a weapon, and I did not. Hey, you take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off! All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Hmm. I am Groot. I don't know. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. Uh. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever gonna see the sweet light of day again. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. I am Groot. I'm sorry. Do you want to go to prison? I am already in a prison. But perhaps you are right, mustache man. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. Hmm. 
The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, we're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distract. You rooks? I'm not gonna lie, a couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. Or, we could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship, I was gonna say friendship, but escape will do. ended up together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense. Yeah, it was all the mustache. Peter, I don't think that's it. I don't know, Mantis. I, I really think it was the mustache. It was not the mustache. Okay, fine. It was... It was just a lot of different things that led to us being a great team. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. And let's go get them back. I am Groot! I am Groot! We still need to find where Rocket and Drax have run off to. They could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. How do you propose we track them down? Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! Where, uh... Where are we? You and I have merged minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing! 
I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Merging minds, huh? This is getting a little intimate, Mantis. We have to get close, so that my mind can see far. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Drax and Rocket could be anywhere in the galaxy. In order to find where they are, we need to build a bridge. A uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party started. It'll be fun. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. Strong emotional connection with Rocket. That's good. I can sense him. We're falling apart. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. Chance, Peter, to protect my new family. Good. Your emotions for Drax are drawing us to him. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? I discarded everything, even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovart. He was a monster, yes, but he was also my family. You're doing great! I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so... deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your... Happiest moment with them. I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by a door and fans. Hey, I was surrounded by a door and fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty.
Your emotions towards Rocket are extremely complicated and varied. We did it. Thanos is gone. There are so many contrasting emotions that you feel towards Gamora. for Drax seem to be in a state of flux, constantly changing. It looks like we can reach that island now. Remember this place from his memory. This is his homeworld, Kylos. He has strong emotions attached to this place. What are you going to say when you see him again? I'll tell him the truth. That Hall is threatening the galaxy. A good fight always makes Drax feel better. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. That's the Milano. It makes sense. Gamora's already with me. In spite of all you've been through, Gamora cares a lot for you. You are very lucky to have someone such as her by your side. I, uh, care about her too. Yes, I can feel it. You truly do. So, I know where Gamora is. You've built bridges to the other islands. You should see where they lead. It's the lab on Half-World. Oh, this place was very painful for Rocket. I wonder why he would return. <sighs> this is where he met Lila. And where he buried her. I think he just wanted to return to her. Oh, Rocket. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy, for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Surprising people is my specialty. Yes, and you are certainly full of surprises. So, guess we just have to pick them up. Who should we get first? Let's grab Rocket, and then Drax. Let's go!
feel that Rocket is in a very delicate state. Do you think he'll come back willingly? Of course he'll come back, Mantis. He's not gonna just throw our friendship into the garbage. Take a freaking hit, do you? Read my lips. I am done. You can take your stupid guardian stick and shove it for all I care, you, you jerk. You and your jerky jerk face. Oh, I'm a jerk? You're the jerk. You're the one who up and ditched us. And you're the one who got Groot hurt. Looking out for my own tail and my friend's life makes me a jerk. So be it. <clears throat> Whoa! What the hell? Thought it was pretty damn obvious that I didn't want to be around you. You just cause trouble for everyone. What? Why? Why are you even here, Quill? Not that it ain't kind of rewarding to see you crawl back with your tail between your legs. Because the galaxy needs the Guardians. People are relying on us. Ha! You think the galaxy gives two craps about us? Get real, Pete. Get lost, PQ. Done with your hero crap. Go find a black hole to fall in. Let me blow this place up in peace. Don't touch those! Th those, are, those are special. I, I got one for every bad memory in this crap hole. I'm gonna blow this whole place sky high. <laughs> It'll be carve, cathartic, cathartic, cathartic. Ah, yeah, that, that's the. Maybe Rocket could use a hand. Oh, with Rocket blitzed out of his mind, there's no telling how stable these things are. Hey! I heard that! Jackass. And of friggin' course you planted the explosives. You can't leave anything alone, can you? I want to hate you, but you make it impossible to hate you. Why can't you just, just let me stay mad at you? You come in and you're so desperate to fix things and you're, you're terrible at fixing things. You're the worst. But you try so damn hard and it's so friggin' daring that can't stay mad at you. Now I'm mad at me! Oh, you can be mad. I won't stop you. But I just need you to be mad on the ship. Ah! Don't you get it, man? I'm afraid, okay? I'm afraid I'm gonna end up alone again. I, I don't know how you do it. Ain't you scared? I mean, you, you go... Running head first into battle like it's nothing. I'm just as scared as you are. Losing my friends, 
Losing everything we've worked for? That scares me to death. And yet, here you are. I, I don't know if you're brave, brave or, or idiotic, Quill. I just... I don't want to be the last one standing again. Ah... Uh, one reason. One good reason why I should come back. I don't think Lila would want you to keep running from the people who care about you most. You have no idea what, what Lila would want. But... Damn it, you're probably right. It was too good for this screwed up galaxy. Y you know, I, I came here to watch this place go up in smoke. Thought it would be therapeutic, but, but now, I, now I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't need it no more. I don't know if it'll make me feel better. You know, I think everyone needs some therapeutic explosions. <laughs> You make a compelling argument, Quill. Oh, what are you doing? No, wait till we're outside. Come on, let's go home. Starlord! Ah! I do not know how you escaped the shrine, but there is nowhere you can run to now. You and your guardians will suffer greatly for what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? You know who this is. Hala the Accuser! You have stolen everything from me. I will kill everyone you've ever known! You have a real way with people, Peter. Is it just me, or does Hala look a little worse for wear? It's as I said. The Forge is taking its toll on her. Well, that's... pleasant. If she's coming for us on Nowhere, we need to hurry, Peter. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. How do you know where he'll be? Kylos is so fast. Kamaria is the most important thing in Drax's life. I know exactly where he'll be. Drax? Hey, Drax! You hear? you are. Have you no respect for the dead, Peter Quill? This is a sacred place. It is meant for family. Your screaming does nothing but irritate my ears. I don't have time for this. We need to talk. We are talking, but you clearly have no respect for those who can no longer talk. Look, we've got a job to do. Hala is still out there and she is wreaking havoc. We gotta get out of this place. This place. This is the place I buried my daughter. I came here to spend my remaining days by her side. I know why you have come, but I am finished with the Guardians. 
My warrior spirit has been extinguished. There is nothing you can say to reignite it. Come on, man. We aren't the Guardians without you. Then we're just a human, a raccoon, a green... one, and a tree. Then there will not be a Guardians anymore. I am quite content here. You remind me of my daughter. Very stubborn. Kamaria would often try to provoke me when she thought I was ignoring her. I refuse to be provoked. Leave! I told you to leave! If that's what you want. Ow! Ah! Stop that! Ah! So be it! Fight me, Quill! I will stab these feelings out of my body. About damn time. Here I come! Trash? One of us is gonna get hurt if this keeps going on. Most likely me. You did not even let me sacrifice myself for the others. At every turn, I have been denied. Hey, man. Are, are you okay? Exactly what I needed. Uh, <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I'll uh, shoot you anytime. You have returned my warrior spirit to me once more. I feel free. <sighs> and I must continue to fight. Survive for her. Come, the next battle awaits. I am here, I suppose we now must retrieve the hairy infant. Neither of those things is true. This is fur, dummy. Oh. I assumed you would get me first, as I am your favorite and most loyal friend, who has never done you any harm and has harmed all of your enemies. You'll always be first in my heart. Your actions prove otherwise. And I could never fit in your heart. Oh, I missed this. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. <laughs> Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Thanks, guys. For coming back. I know we've all been through a hell of a lot together. 
I wish I had better news for you, but, uh, things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes, Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. Sounds like one of Quill's ex-girlfriends. Eh? Am I right? Except more murderery. Mantis is right. I've seen what she can do. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead, or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am grooved. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hala's ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Flattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Hey, Gamora. Hey. You look like you got a lot on your mind. Oh. I was just thinking about Nebula. Oh. When she died, it felt like a piece of me died too. I never considered what life would be like without her, and it still hurts. I still feel so guilty. Kimura, I... But having you here, knowing that I'm not alone in this, it's helped. <sighs> More than I can say. No matter what happens, I am always gonna be here for you. You can count on it. Hearing you say that helps the pain disappear. Even if it's just for a little while. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. So, um, I think that we should... You know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know, <laughs> you and uh, me. <laughs> I mean, I just care for you a lot. I know. Oh, you, you do. Uh, okay. Uh, so, how do you feel? Peter. I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... Maybe... Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just... That's the, that's the pin going in the, uh, yeah. It's for later. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. It was selfish of me to leave the Guardians. It put the entire team at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. 
Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. I never saw Kylos in person before I found you. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. You keep using that word cool. Kylos's atmosphere has always been sweltering with heat. You clearly have an inferior sense of temperature. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You cheated. Oh? Would you like a rematch? No. It is strange to have so many on the Milan. How's it going, Bowie? Worried that you're gonna nah. go away, Strax? It's a good boy. Or no girl. But I am Space Worms even have a gender? Peter. Something wrong? No. Well, this isn't the way I imagined the prophecy of the Celestial One to turn out. On one hand, you destroyed the Eternity Forge, which I think was the right call. You do? But on the other hand, Hala is a horrible monster now. <sighs> what if the prophecy is wrong? I'm afraid no matter what I do, I can't escape the Forge. I was sure that when the Celestial One chose the fate of the Forge, I would finally find peace. Oh, screw the prophecy. You have to make your own path. Don't let your life be dictated by some stupid fairy tale. Maybe you're right. I have to move on from the life I have been told to lead. Thank you, Peter. Was there something you wanted to ask? How are you holding up? It's... not easy. I can feel every life Hala takes. Now that she's merged with the Forge's power, I'm okay for now. But it takes a lot of energy out of me. Once this is all over, I'll be much better. I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. Once this is all over, what are you going to do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am... Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. 
I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... Hmm. I am Groot. Yeah. Me too. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. Taking down her gun sounds like explosions might be involved. Are explosions involved? Maybe. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. And what's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody decided to destroy the Eternity Forge, those meat freezers are offline. And all that power is getting diverted to the super weapon. Big old hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points in the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Uh, are we insane enough to attack a super weapon head on? We are. I mean, you are, since you'll be handling this part. Wait, what? <laughs> Me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, BOOM! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere. So someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. You're joking. Please tell me you're joking. Not this time. I know I got a record for pulling your leg, but we're actually gonna need that helmet. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Oh baby, am I looking forward to this? <laughs> I... Hey Pete. Got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh, yeah? I want you to hack the computer. 
Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're gonna be on protection duty. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Good call, Quill. Groot's always had my back, and I ain't even been shot once. Not once! I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hala's helmet? Her helmet? Alright. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. See you in a bit. Hey, Drex. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I've just got to divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Kree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Kree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Pete! Looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive, so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. Hollow will be expecting a good plan, not a bad one. It's perfect. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill spell. I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it, I should not have drawn attention to myself. He's the number one smartass in the galaxy. And damn proud of it. You should be. Your self-confidence crushing wit is legendary! Ooh, Peter! Over here! It's me! Drax! The Destroyer! I volunteer to go next! Oh, I could never forget you, big guy! Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. This guy is practically invincible. I mean, the galaxy's thrown all kinds of crap at him, and it bounces right off. This is not true. If it was, I would not have needed several showers after we escaped that war. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter. The woman I love. Peter. The woman I like. Peter. The woman I would like to love if she were maybe open to that sort of thing. Don't answer that right now. Uh, and what about Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. Our newest and most peculiar friend. We are friends. I have friends. Yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter. And last. But certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot.
I am Groot. I am Drax. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. We're all heroes, despite our best efforts. We never asked for this responsibility, but we're committed to making this galaxy a better place. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Except for that love interest thing. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired! Then let's rock and roll. Holla's coming in hot. I am Groot. No, I ain't a true. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on, rubble coming your way. I'm, I'm almost to the, the computer. I am Groot. Hey, exercise is hard for me, okay? <laughs> Will, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going in there? I'm all hacked in. Plus an added bonus. Her computer's now transmitting some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over there in the <laughs> Okay, Pete, you're good to go. Eject it and plant the bomb. <laughs> One down. Starlord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Ah, uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm host. How's that protection going, Groot? <laughs> Hanging up now. Heads up! Oh, too late. It's quick. going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I have not forgotten. There is an intercom button here. I shall press it. Greetings to all pathetic Kree warriors on this ship. This is Drax the Destroyer. I am waiting for you in the main hallway. Please come see me immediately. Peter, I believe I have gotten their attention. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention.
Oh, no, you don't. Kind of busy here. Thank you. Rocket, all charges are planted. Impressed? Marginally. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh, yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? to get the helmet. Now what, Rocket? Launch it out an airlock. Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Nope! But now Hala's gonna be looking for it, and it'll be spinning through space! <laughs> Rocket? What? Oh, come on! I am broke. What do you mean, Holla's heading for the bridge? Hey, Pete, you better get ready. Here we go. For How do you like that? This one's no. <laughs> nice one. You think you can defeat me? The Forge and I are one. You have only made me stronger.
Thanks for wanting to do this, baby. Can't imagine being in some sterile hospital. I'm missing out on this view. Screw that place. They don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Sometimes what the body needs and what the soul needs are very different things. You, me, stars. This is my happy place. Hey, you want to build it back up a bit? Can I use the lighter fluid? <laughs> Come on. That's for amateurs. Don't let it burn out. Hey, how else are we gonna roast marshmallows? There you go. You've almost got it. Ha! <sighs> Didn't even have to use the lighter fluid. Well done. No missing eyebrows for you tonight. Fire's... Fire's looking low, hon. You wanna build it back up a bit? What? That's strange. I... I could've sworn I... Mom. I... I shouldn't have brought you out here. I just wanted one last weekend with you. I was reckless. I wasn't thinking straight. No matter what happens, I'm glad we came. I'm sorry, Peter. I just didn't want you to forget who I really was. I don't want you to remember me like that, okay? I'm still me. You'll always be my mom. I could never forget that. I love you. Now, why don't you build up that fire a little bit, huh? It's starting to get low. Mom. So alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where. must be affecting Hala's mind. I've missed you so much. She doesn't know what's going on. I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Baldi. I... I missed you too. Baldi. I wish I could have done more. Everything I did, I did for you. I wanted you back by my side. 
I wanted you to see how great our people could be. But you went too far. Innocent people died because of you. It was all worth it. <laughs> to see you again. I wish I could touch you. I have become a monster. Look at me. I want you to remember the good things. You'll always be my mom. I can never forget that. spread through her like poison. Honestly, I feel bad about what happened to her. I don't want to believe she was always like this. <sighs> so... We did it. Hull is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? We saved lives, Gamora. If we hadn't done what we did, a lot more innocent people would be dead right now. You're right. I think I could use a drink. I am rude. Yeah. Let's go. Hello? You guys still open? If there's booze on the shelf, they're open. Uh, hey! Can I come out now? Is it over? Yes, you can stop cowering like a baby. And we're all pretty thirsty. I know now isn't the best time, but uh, you still haven't paid your tab. Are you kidding me? Hey, guy's gotta pay the bills. Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? I left my wallet in my other red leather jacket. So... <clears throat> yeah, my bar wouldn't even be here if it weren't for you. Just consider your tab forgiven, okay? <laughs> what is this? It tastes terrible! I... <laughs> Them Groot? Mmm. <laughs> tastes like victory. <laughs> victory tastes like... burning. I am Groot! <laughs> Peter? Now that this is all over... There's something I've been meaning to say. What is it? I... When I was trapped in that tomb, all alone, the only thing I cared about was my own freedom. And to obtain that freedom, I exploited memories of your mother. I lied to you, made you think she was alive, 
for my own benefit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I used you. It was a selfish thing to do. I don't blame you, Mantis. You did what you had to do. I mean, in your shoes, I may have done the same thing. You are an extremely generous person to forgive others so freely. The more time I spent with you, the more I discovered what you've been through. I can tell you and your mother were very close. I could feel it in your heart, destroying the forge and losing the chance to see her again. That couldn't have been easy. I think my mom would have wanted me to move on from her. She always said, look forward, not back. Yes, I suppose. But still... What would you say if I told you... I could give you a moment with your mother? What? A final chance to speak with her. See her one last time. I would say that was incredible. I wish I could do more, but at least I could grant you this. The remains of the Forge would be able to let me connect with someone who has... died. But only for a few minutes, and only if you want. Hey, 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 easy there. I got you. What, what, where am I? Hey, Mom. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's me. P Peter? I... Peter! <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'd explain, but we don't have long. You and me being here together, this is only temporary. I see. Peter, <laughs> look at you. You're you're so tall. I mean, you're you're all grown up. And what the hell are you wearing? That jacket. It's ridiculous. This might come as a surprise, but I'm a legendary space adventurer now. You always did love outer space and Indiana Jones, so I guess you combined your passions. I... I, I don't know where to begin. I... I missed so much, so many years. I... I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I... I didn't want to leave you. Well, it wasn't so terrible. I mean, I had Yondu, after all. <laughs> so... That pirate actually held up his end of the bargain, huh? I'm surprised. I hope he was a good role model for you. Yeah... Something like that. I have to ask, you're not... You're not alone, are you? No. I've got people who care about me. I am so proud of you, Peter. I love you. I love you too, Mom. I can't stand goodbyes. Play me a song? Of course. I got just the one. Just gotta find it. It's somewhere here. It's... Nope, that's not it. Almost. Uh, I think it's after... Wait, hold on. Ah, gotta go back. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Good song. They all are. You picked them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>
right? I didn't want to interfere. Thank you, Mantis. I owe you for that. You owe me nothing. I understand. If you need a moment. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts, oh, daily doubts. Don't you know by now? Never doubt the legendary Star-Lord. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. It's pronounced Star-Lord. How about a refill? My hero. Who seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening? I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To a much-needed and well-deserved Vacation. We could friggin' use it. <laughs> I am Groot. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Now, where were we? 